Okay, we're with Fred Shelatz here at Bissell Maple Farms in Jefferson, Ohio, right Fred? Yeah. So, and uh, this is this is where you go in, in the Midwest, uh, you know, Pennsylvania, New York to get the Atlas Copco pumps, right Fred? Right. So, and there's a lot of advantages to these pumps. Um, so you're gonna tell me about them. Let's start with the one in front of you. We're in the back room here. This is kind of your shop area. Yeah. Uh, getting them ready for the season coming up, right, Fred? Yep. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this one here. Absolutely. This is an Atlas Cop Code DZS 065. It's 48 CFM. It's a dry cloth pump. And uh, the, uh, the technology is that these are stainless steel claws. There's like a half a one thousandth inch um, clearance in here. I'm gonna turn it on in a minute, but as they go around, obviously we're we're sucking in here and and blow out. I took this all apart, blew blow out the housing and down through noise resolution, and this is the exhaust. So tell the CFM again for this guy. Forty eight. Okay. So I'm telling people they can use it from anywhere from thirty five hundred to five thousand taps. Uh, if it's not a real long run, they might get a little bit more than five thousand taps. Um, we used this one, this pump right here last year down at Bissell's, and it uh, it did it really easily. We only had uh, about almost 2,000 taps, so I'm going to use it again this year. Uh, and we're adding on 500, and it, it should do it, you know, very easily. Remind everyone what a CFM is. It's cubic feet per minute of air being sucked out of your vacuum lines. So they the uh, statistic is you need about. Uh, one CFM for uh, 100 taps. So that's why 48, you could get somewhere around 4,500 to 5,000 taps on it uh, and, and do a good job. All right, fire up. Okay. I wanna just let it turn slow for you. But there's such close tolerances that that, that air is compressed and pumped out the exhaust and uh, this is just one hertz, just, it's just barely moving. And I can, I can turn it up. You can run it all the way. Actually, this one you can run above 60 hertz. Um, they're telling us you can run them up to about 70 on this pump. And so you could gain, you could go from 48 to 60 CFM by going up in the hertz. And that's all done through this. Through what? Fred? This drive. It's a Westinghouse, take a Westinghouse drive. So I was gonna talk a little bit about this. This is a three-phase motor. And most farmers don't have three-phase. So what we do is we take a manual 240 volt, people call it 220. Everybody has that in their sugar house. Run it through the drive and convert it to the three-phase. And um, so, we can we can set this to run at whatever hertz that that we desire to run to get do the job that we're doing we also put a pressure sensor on it right here and so um, what we do is we can program this drive so that once your woods comes down to 27 and a half inches of vacuum is about as much as you can get out of a dry cloth that's just the way they're designed so once your woods gets to say 27 you can pre-program this, and the drive, the pressure sensor comes back to the drive, and it says, okay, you can slow down. And so it'll cut it back to whatever you want to maintain your 27 inches on the woods. Saves, saves energy. And uh, now last year we had it so that uh, once we got to 27, we went back to 35 hertz, and it kept the woods at 37. Uh, until we had some big runs or maybe we had some leaks and we had to, you know, catch up with that. So, now the first year we used, we actually used that bigger pump the first year down at Bissell's, but I ran that pump on a 20 amp breaker with a piece of number 12 Romex wire, which is what you wire your house with, and uh, we saved 50% on our electricity. Now that pump was overkill. That's a, that's a big pump. But that's the one we had the first year. So uh, anyway, it, uh, they're very, very energy. And this is all there is to it? That's basically it. The motor's back there. This is as much noise as it's no, going to no. make in the woods, no, no, Fred? No, 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 no. Right? They're so, much louder. Yeah. <laughs> they're much louder. 
I have to put it all the way back together, but I can turn this up uh, for you. Um, Feel the air blowing up? Should be. That's all. Oh, yeah.